A fantastic job you did. Thank you. Yeah, unfortunately, I did not read it as a child. Um, the first time I obviously heard about this film was was when I got sent the script, and I loved the script. When I got the part and started preparing, I was given a huge stack of books, which I had to work my way through. It's a free man from upstate New York who thought that he's a man born into his circumstance, but Chiwetel, he's got he's got the most extraordinary access to an amazing range, but he's making very considered, really direct, very clear choices with this, which is just fa is fascinating to see. Um, how do you feel right now? Um, well, um, I feel, I got my stomach's a little upset, but, uh, you know. Um, very hard not to laugh at certain moments because... Humor, actually, that you maybe wouldn't, you wouldn't expect to be there. She's just absolutely incredible. It's a really tough role to play in that I got to wear her, her suits, which were really amazing. I was really intrigued by the psychological aspect. It's the overall achieving of the American dream. And this is the first time he's actually, he feels, he's been put in a position of power, you know, and, and he enjoys it. It gets the most coverage of any director I've ever seen. <laughs> and I say that in a good way. A crew that are gonna work as hard as possible and it deserves a director as skillful and as amazing. Wonderful director to work for. He's, um, he's very clear. I mean, his visual aesthetic, what you enjoy in an audience, you enjoy as an actor as well, because there's a real purity of purpose between the performance space and the camera. It's kept very simple. See all the twists and turns, all the ways that there were misconnections or moments that were misunderstood. The, the drive to make sure that every aspect of this film was real, um, from the sets, from, um, from the performances, from our bond with all the other cast. All right, well, first of all, congratulations to you guys. Good to see you. Thank, Thank you. Always um, good to see you. Buddy, who directed Endgame, what's it like for you to sit in a theater and watch that story continue on your own? Like, how, what is it like for you to experience that? Our job on Endgame was to simply bring things to a close. And so to, to then all of a sudden <laughs> to, to watch it move forward, you know, was, was, uh, was, was exciting. I feel like one thing that's really important to me with this story is you know, we all have this idea of what our lives are supposed to be. I just do the same stuff that everybody else does. <laughs> it's been an interesting sort of uh, growth year for Nick Fury. You know, going from Captain Marvel where there were things he did not know that he all mm. of a sudden knew. And now he's here and he's openly saying, you know. Very few people grow up and become the people they said they wanted to be as a kid. You know, so when I read the script, it just really brought all that up for me, and I thought it, I thought it was really interesting. The preparation is what really made this movie. It wouldn't have been possible without the preparation that the cast did, the crew. It is a film about family. It, I think it's going to be really interesting. Uh, but it's such an incredible story, and a story of this sort of magnitude um, gives us the motivation to get